down. Like that's that's a much smaller number than if you have, you know, maybe ten people buy the album, but then they all share it with their friends, and two hundred and fifty people come to a show, and then we get paid for the show, and then people buy T-shirts and they buy merch at the show. Um, it becomes much more beneficial to us. And the other thing about smaller bands is people will buy vinyl records, you know. And I feel like, I mean, I, I've never even seen a vinyl record of like Britney Spears or I don't even know if those <laughs> labels even make vinyl records, you know. And so people maybe will download the music for free, but then when they want something physical, then they'll buy a record. And so you still get sales. Um, so I don't know. I, I think if people, if somebody likes, likes what they hear, they generally want to support it because they want to hear more music from the mm -hmm. artist. Um, obviously that's not everybody, but I think there's enough people to do that that can keep smaller bands going. I mean, we wouldn't still be here after five years if, if there weren't enough people that bought our music or supported us in one way or another. So if it's not that, I'm not that, I don't know, <laughs> uh, where do you have uh, the largest sales, maybe apart from, uh, from USA? I, I guess that USA is Germany. number one market for you. Germany? Uh, Germany is probably number one, actually. Oh? Because our label's from Germany, and some we played in Germany a lot, and there's a lot of cities that you can go to, so... Uh, yeah, for sure. Germany and the US. <coughs> do I think. Hope, do you hope that at some point in your future are you going to be able to drop the job that you have and focus just on making money out of it? I have no... Uh, thoughts about that. I don't think that'll ever happen, and I'm okay with that. Um, I I don't do music for that, so I it's um, it's not. I don't even think about it anymore. I, I definitely used to think about it when I first started because I think everybody has that dream, like oh let's do this for a living and you know play on a big stage every night and be in a tour bus and blah blah blah. But that that faded very quickly, and and it's much more uh, to me. It's been much more important to make connections with people and promoters um, over, a con uh, over a bunch of tours now. People that you can, you know, you show up and, and, and you give them a hug and you know a little bit about them and you can talk and I feel like that's much better than, than just sitting in a backstage by yourself every night and not talking to anybody. <coughs> which sometimes I feel like doing but overall I think that's much more fulfilling. fulfilling. Yeah. So I, I don't think we'll ever get to that point because we don't make that kind of music, I guess. Um, so, no. <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah. Do you know and like any Romanian band? Well, we heard a band last night. Grimace? Grimace. 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 Yeah. Um, they, I think they only played, like, cover songs, so I don't know what their music sounds like, but, but they, uh, they sounded good. They sounded very talented, yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, besides that, I don't think I know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Should we? Are there, there are a lot of bands that only sing in English, though they are in English. I'd love to hear them, yeah. Maybe you can make or us a little list. Or maybe something similar to your band. Oh, cool. Good, yeah. We're we always interested. We recommend you, for sure. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Always interested in your music. Which one rules, vinyl or digital? Um, as far as uh, just listening, which one sounds sure. better? I, I think vinyl. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> vinyl, uh, definitely vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, even like the highest quality WAV file is still going to have uh, issues that you won't have on vinyl, especially if you've gone from an analog source to the vinyl, like recording from tape onto vinyl. There's a compression there that uh, is really warm and saturated that I, I think you miss with digital. It sounds too crisp, too pristine, I think. I don't know. <coughs> I prefer vinyl. Mm -hmm. Agreed. <laughs> What's going on out there? Ambulance. I think it's a wedding. Uh, ambulances. No, 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 it's a wedding. It's a wedding. It's a wedding. Oh, it's a wedding. <laughs> no ambulances. No. Hope not. No. Yeah. You mentioned uh, Britney Spears and Beyonce back with Jonah. So, uh, what are and Justin Timberlake. <laughs> yeah. 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 Everybody that was in the middle. Uh, of <laughs> what are some of your other uh, guilty pleasures? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot. Anita Baker. Anita Baker? 
Anybody know Anita Baker? Yeah. Yeah, you know Anita Baker? She's great. Um, but there's a lot of guilty pleasures. Yeah. <laughs> Do you really want to know? <laughs> it might ruin it. Yeah, it might ruin it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think we both just really like pop music. I don't know. It just doesn't matter. If the song's good, the song's good. It doesn't matter how popular they are or if, uh, if people think they're stupid or whatever, you know? I, I think Britney Spears has some great songs. Really great. I love this song, Toxic. I think it's really amazing. I don't know. I like the production on it. We also like uh, um, a lot of hip hop. A lot of hip hop. Yeah. yeah. Of hip -hop. But not like not so much mainstream hip hop. But yeah. What Tribe Called we'll... Quest. Uh, De La Soul. So old school. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But also some newer stuff like uh, Atmosphere yeah, or yeah. Sage Francis and things like that. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. But guilty pleasures. I love Coldplay. I listen to Coldplay all the time. I can't help it. You look like Chris. Do I? You look like you listen to Coldplay. I do. Though. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Anything other? Uh, I'll embarrass myself. I think I have something else. Um, oh, your favorite band, Nickelback. No. 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 <laughs> I hate Nickelback. <laughs> Kanye West. Yeah. Is that enough, or do you want more? <laughs> it's enough. Okay. That's enough. enough. You're making yeah. sick. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay. Okay. So you make music. You like films, but what about books? We hate mm. reading. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Mirza really enjoys books about uh, international politics, especially like uh, communism, communism, and uh, yeah, Eastern like Europe. Kids. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I really like um, foreign authors. Like I, I read a lot of classics. Like uh, I've been reading Russian literature lately, like Dostoevsky and Tolstoy. Romanian. Um, I don't know. Shame I feel shame really, on you. It's because I'm from the United States and they don't educate us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flirting little by little. Um, but uh, you can also make me a list. Because I, I don't know. I, I like reading, you know, just different perspectives from different parts of the world. And I went through a period of like French existentialism for a long time, and then kind of uh, some German. As well, like uh, Rilke, I like him a lot. Rainer Maria Rilke, and uh, now I'm reading Russian authors. I don't know. I read a lot of boring political stuff. Is, is your music influenced by that? Is it political in any way? Uh, no, there's no political, conscious political. But I think, of course, whatever your per personal experiences are, it's going to show up in your music one way or another. Um, so for me, I don't know, I mean, I grew up in Bosnia, so I naturally always was interested in like, nationalism and communism and all of Eastern Europe and Eurasian politics and history. So that's obviously a little bit of an influence, I think, yeah. On what side of Bosnia, if I might ask? Um, I'm Muslim, so the, the victim side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from uh, Mostar. Okay. I don't know if you know. Yeah, we, yeah. we heard about that. All yeah. Europe heard about it. So. But nobody in the States knew about it. <laughs> yeah, when I first came no, to Only the US, pilots, man. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was not good when I came to the US for the first time. Um, people didn't know where Bosnia was. Is they that, didn't know what I spoke. Is like, Bosnia in Africa? Yeah, someone <laughs> did ask me that question if Bosnia was in Africa. It's, but. Not everyone. I, I don't know. The U.S. is not all like that. I, I, I just went to a weird. I went to Arizona, so that's very far removed from mm -hmm. from, from civilization. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the East Coast, Boston, New York, is not like that at all. People are more aware of what's going on in the world. Anybody else? Yes. No. 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 No.
Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming. See you. <laughs>